Welcome back to Rainier Rally. We have round two, group two. And let me tell you, this one is a nail biter. We have two Supras, they're both orange, and two muscle cars, they're both blue. One a little bit prettier blue than the other one, but both of them have white accents. Looking good. Let's go ahead and meet the drivers. We have Puff from Puff's Racing in that Toyota Supra GR. Next, we have Sam Hall in that Shelby Mustang GT350. And Scooter Roundwell driving that Camaro for Spirit of 64 Racing. And last but not least, Disaster Jack in that Toyota Supra. They're at the line. They're going to race eight laps down Rainier Rally Cross Track. Here they go. 10 second board is out. You will see Nitro and they will send it for the lap one down this track. We have Puff in the first lane. Sam Hall in the second lane. As they head up into the 360, it looks like Sam Hall might be out front by a little bit. And oh my gosh, it looks like the camera just went down. It looks like our drone cam was taken out. It might have been a bird strike. I'm not sure. We'll get the full report on that later. But we'll finish, we'll see that race finished by the finish line camera. We'll watch that replay back right before you see. Check out for any, any animals in the sky. Uh, maybe it's just a, a drone malfunction, but it crashed directly into the track. We finished watching race one from the finish line cam here. And it looks like, folks, Sam Hall in that Mustang was able to take race one and get an early lead, followed by Puff in that Mark V Supra. They shift one lane to their right, our left from this camera angle. We have Supra, Supra, Mustang, Camaro. They are out of there. Orange, orange, blue, blue. Jumping over the thing. Looks like Disaster Jack gets up on two wheels, loses a little bit of speed. Puff is out front in that Supra. And boy, let me tell you, Disaster Jack losing a little bit of speed over that jump, as you see right here, did cost him that second place win. I believe that uh, second place place, not a win. Uh, it looks like he needed that little bit extra speed to take on Sam Hall as they converge into the final jump here. Disaster Jack just did not have enough with that 2JZ engine. No crap. There they are. Sam, or Scooter Roundwell bringing up fourth place. We have a 7733 situation a tie for first place and a tie for the, the other places. We're going to go into race three here. We have Disaster Jack in that Supra in the fast lane, which is lane two. He needs to capitalize on lane two if he wants to come back and take the victory. They're fast. Sam Hall sideways as they go up to 360 out of his lane. He will lose a lot of speed. And it shows, folks, Sam Hall falls back into fourth place, allowing both of the purple people leaders. Purple? Those are orange. Orange cars. Orange marmalade. And then you'll see Sam Hall bouncing off the side. Puff off his lane as well. They both will make it up that 360. Sam Hall does not have a lot of speed though. That's why he got fourth place. If you don't go fast, you ain't gonna win, Sammy. Disaster Jack in first, Puff in second by a couple cars there. We'll, we'll watch that at the finish line cam. I don't know what Sam Hall is doing there, drifting across the finish line, showing off. He was in last place. Maybe he likes showing off. It must be a Mustang thing. Meanwhile, the Supras are pulling away. Barely. Puff is pulling away. Sam Hall in second. Disaster Jack in third. All right, Scooter Roundwell's turn in the fast lane. Will he be able to capitalize on this? Or will those Supras or that Mustang be faster in the other lanes? We shall find out right here. Clean race by all the drivers. Scooter Roundwell out front by a little bit. But no, Disaster Jack and Sam Hall were able to pull ahead of Scooter Roundwell. We'll slow that down for you here. I love seeing both the purple car. Why do I keep saying purple? Am I colorblind? Those are orange cars. Both the orange Supras together and the blue muscle cars together. There you see as they converge on that finish line and file in. It's a very close race, but Disaster Jack takes it. Sam Hall takes second. Scooter Roundwell third and Puff in fourth place. We'll watch that again because that was a close one and I like close races. All right, fourth race in the books. We have an 11 way tie. I mean, a three way tie at 11. And then Scooter Roundwell following with seven. It is still anyone's game. Folks, after four rounds, they'll race four more races in the exact same lanes. If they finish in the exact same way, there'll be a three way tie at the end of this tournament. And at the end of this round, not the end of the tournament. 
end of this round. Oh, Puff and Scooter around while getting into each other there at the finish line. Uh, like I said, if, if, the, if all goes the same, we will see a three-way tie at the end of this round, and the end of this group. Uh, so we might see a nail-biter here, folks. Not saying we will, but we might. All right, let's watch that from the finish line cam a little bit slower. I want to see that bumping and grind in action from Puff and Scooter Roundwell as they battle for the finish. We'll freeze frame it here. It looks like Puff by about three quarters of a car length. Looks like Puff and Sam Hall might be pulling away with it. Disaster Jack right behind and Scooter Roundwell not out of it yet. Anything can happen at Rainier Rally. Nitro board is out. Puff in the fast lane. He is the one to catch in this group. He seems to be the fastest. He will take advantage of that fast lane, lane two, and put four more points on the board. Looks like Disaster Jack was shortly behind him, followed by Sam Hall and Scooter Roundwell, I believe. I don't exactly remember, but I believe that's how they finished. We got Puff, we got Disaster Jack and the Supra, Sam Hall right there behind, and then, folks, Scooter Roundwell, bring up the rear. Will we see two Supras moving on? Will we see a Mustang moving on? Will Scooter Roundwell come out of nowhere and take first or second place? We shall see. Two races to go. They rotate one lane over. Disaster Jack in the fast lane. He is in contention for that second place spot with Sam Hall. Hope he doesn't blow it here. It looks like he is smooth through the 360 and finishes with four points on the board. We'll slow it down for you in the replay. It looks like all the drivers have a clean, clean race, clean landing, clean into the 360. And folks, that being clean run for everybody, the faster car always comes out in front, as long as you don't mess it up. One last look at race seven, lap seven, finish line cam here. Scooter Roundwell is consistent, but he might not have enough. We have a tie. A tie for second place. Puff out front, still anyone's game. If Puff doesn't perform, he's out of it. Scooter Roundwell and Disaster Jack will take over. Who will come out of this race victorious? It's all down to this, it's all down to the wire. Scooter Roundwell in lane two. Sam Hall in lane one. Sam Hall biffs the jump, hits Scooter Roundwell and bounces off the ramp. He is out of it, folks. Scooter Roundwell is out of it. It looks like Disaster Jack walks away with it first place and Puff right behind. I don't know the math yet. I haven't seen the scoreboard, but I believe what we're seeing is Scooter Roundwell, fourth place. Sam Hall, third place. Disaster Jack, second place. And Puff, Daddy Puff, not Puff Daddy. That's a different guy. He's a rapper. Um, Puff from Puff's Racing, first place and moving on. So we have Puff moving on and Disaster Jack moving on. The two orange, not purple Supras. Moving on. We'll, we'll see that one more time from the finish line cam here as that super drifts across the finish line. And then we'll see the scoreboard, which will indicate the two supers moving on. Sam Hall and Scooter Roundwell, I want to I want to take a moment. Huge shout out to you for joining this tournament. Thank you. you. You guys are both amazing builders, and I want you back at our next track soon. Puff and Disaster Jack, congratulations. You are moving on to the next round of the Rainier Rally Fast and the Furious Tournament. Until next time, stay tuned, stay passionate, and get ready for more exciting moments on the track.